Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. You know, in uh, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, so, uh, Solomon writes, Trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Oh, my friends, we have trust issues, don't we? Even us Christians. We need to learn how to trust our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what we're going to talk about in these next few videos. Trusting our Lord Jesus Christ. Getting in the boat and going with him. Oh, my friends, you know, when Jesus was walking on water and Peter saw him and he uh, asked to come to him. And Peter was walking on the water. My friends, we must trust him because once we lose that trust, we will sink. And our Lord Jesus Christ is calling us. He's calling us by name. Come to him. But what we want to do as Christians is learn how to trust him. We have trust issues, don't we? And our Lord Jesus Christ, just look what he did for us. He hung on the cross. He died for our sins. He paid the price. We no longer belong to ourselves. The power of God is now inside of us. And you know what? Fear is a spirit and it's overtaken the world and even a lot of Christians. It's now is the time to trust him, my friends, especially as so much is going on all around us. This world is afraid and Christians, they're becoming afraid also to trust him. So how can we trust God? This is the, the question because most of us have lived all our lives never trusting nobody that's right we go through our whole life we get married we have children we're in relationships we're on the job and we don't trust anyone how could that be so we want to learn how to trust our lord jesus christ and first and foremost you know we, when we made that confession we said i believe that's right I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. We made that confession. And now we need to go a step farther. As we study his word, we want to trust what he's saying. We're walking by faith and not by sight. All the things around us brings terror to the heart. It really does. Look at the sky, how it's dark and it looks like a storm is coming. And fear sets in the man's heart when we look around us but our lord jesus christ the power of his spirit is inside of us he says my peace i leave you and this is what we want to trust we're walking by faith my friends jesus conquered death death when he died on the cross so what are we afraid of what is our biggest fear We've got to get past that by trusting God. And the only way that we do that is by studying his word first, but we must fellowship with other believers. We need the encouragement of others and we need to be an encouragement. Some people are just consumers. All they do is take, 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 take. You know what? But at some point, you know, uh, the scripture says, we were bathed in Christ at one time. But now as we grow, we should no longer be on the bottle, constantly wanting spiritual milk. We should want the, the meat of the word. See, the whole purpose of the church is to mature the saints. We need to get as many saints as possible mature in the faith. Now, trust you, I know that there will be a lot of Christians that will never mature. They will never get it. But we need to get as many Christians as possible mature in the faith. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to study, we're going to fellowship, but it all comes down to you, my friends, trusting God and his word. You must do it. Trust him. Ignore the circumstances. Ignore the things around you. It's time to get in the boat. That's right. Get in the boat and go on the other side. Disregard the storms because we have something that is greater than this in the world. And that's our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what he says. Greater is he who is in us, who is in the world. My friends, ignore the storms. They will come. Jesus has already said that trouble will come. 
but we need to learn how to trust. And first and foremost, pray. Ask God, help me to trust you, Lord. Help me. He's going to put trials. He's going to allow trials and tests to come before us. It's all a test to see how much do we trust him. Ignore your emotions. My friends, and I know they can be difficult because sometimes we might live with someone who doesn't trust anybody. How could that be? How could you live with someone that doesn't trust no one? How is that possible? Well, they've done that all their life. But I like what uh, uh, Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. My friends, we're new now. And remember what uh, Jesus told Nicodemus when he says, um, Jesus says, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom. That's the advantage that believers have is that once we're in Christ and once we study his word, we fellowship with other believers. The spirit of God is inside of us, communicating the things that, that the spirit wants to speak to us. You know what? We are now able to see the kingdom. You know what the biggest problem is when it comes to trust? We are so much into ourselves. Selfishness. It's all about me, what I want, what I think, what I feel. Me, 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 me. And that's why we can't trust. All my friends, when Paul writes in Corinthians, all throughout his letter, it's all about others, others. Putting others before yourself. Esteeming others higher than you. Others. It's not about you. It's about our Lord Jesus Christ and trusting him. It's appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. My friends, everyone has an appointment and only Jesus Christ knows when that appointment is. So why are we fretting and afraid of so many things? Life is moving on. It's moving past. Nothing is standing still. But still, that seems like that's all we want to do is stand still in our mess. That's not trusting God. It's time to trust him. Trust our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, let's get in the boat and let's get on the water. Let's go across to the other side and tell others about our Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things. Thank you, my friend.